Well, lawmakers are on Capitol Hill looking for answers following the announcement that one of the private contractors that actually helped to create the flawed Obamacare website is now going to oversee the fixes to it. Our next guest says calling Obamacare a train wreck isn't fair to train wrecks. Joining us now, South Carolina Congressman Trey Gowdy. Uh, Congressman, thank you for joining us today. Uh, those are some pretty harsh words. Well, they're also true. I mean, trains that are about to wreck don't force you by law to get on board, and trains that are about to wreck don't charge you more to get on a train that's about to wreck. And my, my, my favorite is trains that are about to wreck, to, to, to wreck when they're tumbling down the mountainside don't call it a glitch. This is an abomination. It's not a glitch. Shannon, she had a billion dollars in three years to get ready for this rollout. Now, what makes anyone think that another month is going to fix something that three years and a billion dollars didn't fix? Well, there was a very interesting hearing, of course, this week uh, with the House Energy and Commerce Committee on the Hill. There was a lot of finger pointing. All the contractors behind the website, uh, you know, said things were working, that their individual testing was working well. There were those, though, who admitted they knew there were problems and that they had notified the administration. And the contractor said it wasn't our decision about moving forward. That's completely on CMS, meaning, you know, the government side of this thing. Um, but there were several Democrats in that hearing as well who said, listen, the GOP loves this. They hate Obamacare. They want the website to fail. They want all of it to fail. And so, you know, they say essentially the GOP doesn't have any real um, dog in the fight as far as finding a fix for this, that you want it to completely crumble. Well, I don't like it when my fellow Americans are suffering. You know, the president loves to say there are consequences for elections, and he is right. There are. And one of the consequences is we're going to get government-run health care. But I do not want my fellow citizens to be punished because Kathleen Sebelius is in so far over her head. We needed Bill Gates. We got Lloyd Christmas and Ron Burgundy. We need someone who actually understands the law and understands technology, and that is not Kathleen Sebelius. And if you saw her clip last week, Shannon, she is blaming House Republicans for her failure to have a website up and running by October 1st. So she, she's inherently political. She's not a technological expert. She's not a legal expert. She's a political appointee, and this happened on her watch. And instead of blaming House Republicans, it'd be wonderful if she accepted just a little bit of responsibility for something she was not able to do despite having three years and a billion dollars. Okay, well, the public, it appears, is on your side by all recent polling. It shows still a majority. It's very slim, but they are not fans of Obamacare. Uh, most recent polling, what should happen to Obamacare? Get rid of it came in at 51%. Keep it in place, 41%. Some others still undecided and confused about what answer they have there. But knowing that the public appears to be on your side, the GOP side with this, is in a matter of not using the proper process, the proper messaging, the proper tactics. What is it? Because clearly a majority of American people have some current concerns. Well, they do. And, and Shannon, of course, when this became law, Republicans control precisely no branch of government. And you can argue that, that the, the November 2012 election was a referendum on, on, on Obamacare and we lost. Uh, so it is the law. Uh, but, but, but that doesn't mean that it has to be run as poorly as it is. I, I prefer a different model for, for providing health care for, for my fellow citizens. So I'm not a fan of Obamacare, but more than anything else, I don't want my fellow citizens being forced by law to go to a website that doesn't work to sign up for a product that's going to cost them more and provide less coverage. So between politics and my fellow citizens, I'm always going to pick what's better for them. I hope that in 2014, they see that as an opportunity to go to a more market-based health care plan and not this uh, abomination of desolation that she calls a glitch. Uh, I just need a real quick answer from you. Do you think that it's time for Secretary Sebelius to resign or for someone within the administration to ask for her resignation? Uh, yes and yes. I thought she should have been gone three years ago when she didn't understand the religious liberty component of her HHS uh, contraceptive mandate. So uh, I, I thought she should have been gone three years ago. And it looks like that question is on its way uh, fast tracking to the Supreme Court. Congressman Gowdy, good to see you today. Thank you, sir. Yes, ma'am. You too.